specs and features have been revealed for the Google Pixel 6 and I'll be sharing the details right after this. Today we've got the reveal of many key specs and features thanks to new information for the Google Pixel 6. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of Google and let me know in the comments what country you're watching today's video from and if you haven't already then hit subscribe now so you don't miss a thing in the future. So the first story of the day is fabric case listings that were discovered for the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro thanks to Roland Quant on Twitter. Now the case listings that mentioned Active Edge as well as a battery share feature leading people to believe that these are going to be present in the Pixel 6. Now Michelle Rahman of XDA pointed out straight away that it looks to be a placeholder and may not be the confirmation of specs and then we had more information from an XDA report. The XDA post delivers new information from their source along with screen shots that confirm the features that will be present. They confirm there's going to be no Active Edge and to be honest I hated Active Edge so this is actually good news for me. They do however confirm that you can double tap the back of the Pixel 6 to launch the assistant or customize that to another feature if you wish. They confirm that battery share is going to be present on the Pixel 6 series but they don't have details on what charge speed this is going to be and they also provide us with a screenshot of the display options which confirms smooth display at 120 hz refresh rate. Now the Pixel 6 Pro is coming with a resolution of 3120 by 1440 and it is confirmed that it can run this resolution at 120 hertz. The only thing that isn't known is if there's going to be a variable refresh rate to save on the battery. Now the XDA report also reconfirms the presence of an ultra wideband chip in the Pixel 6 and it says that Google will be supporting car key so that means if you've got a new car that supports it you'll be able to unlock and drive your car with your Pixel. Next up we've got the first reveal of the Google Tensor chip after it's appeared on Geekbench. We get a different than normal CPU setup here as it shows two cores running at 2.8 GHz, two cores running at 2.25 and then we've got four efficient cores running at 1.8 GHz and it also confirms the presence of 12 GB of RAM in the Pixel 6 Pro. Now when it comes to the scores it gets 414 single core score and 2074 for multi. Now to put this into perspective these scores are actually fairly low. The scores that match that of many devices benchmarked using the Snapdragon 845 while well, we've been told many times that the chipset is going to be based on Samsung's 5 nanometer process and be slightly better than the Snapdragon 888. Now of course this is an early benchmark so scores will improve but given that launch is expected to be next month then it's not going to be a huge jump. The Pixel 6 will be pretty much ready for release already if it's only a month away. That being said it still leaks that this could be incorrect or it could just be that Google are including a less powerful chip to reduce the cost. Now it's thrown a bit of contradiction our way. Many people have been hoping for a flagship Pixel with a powerful chipset but Google have also had success in the past by keeping the price down and using a more average chip. Rather than speculate at this point we're going to wait until we get further confirmation on this and with launch expected to be the 19th of October it's only just over a month until we get the specs revealed from Google. For those of you excited for the Google Pixel 6 though we're now going to run through the specs design and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if this is going to be the phone for you. For my regular viewers you guys have already seen this so just skip to the next video but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. With the Google Pixel 6 we're getting a larger display than the predecessor and we're expecting a 6.4 inch OLED display. It's going to be a full HD plus flat display and new reports are telling us that it's going to be a 120 hertz display. We get an 8 megapixel punch hole selfie camera which is reportedly smaller than the predecessor's punch hole and it will allow for 4K video recording. On the rear we're getting a dual camera setup consisting of a 50 megapixel wide angle and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. It will of course be powered by the Google Silicon 101 system on chip and we're expecting 8 gigs of RAM with 128 storage. It's all powered by a 4,614 milliamp hour battery. We'd expect a bump in fast charge technology but it will at least be 18 watts and it's also going to support wireless charging. It's likely going to support Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6, 5G and of course come with the ultra wideband chip and it will of course be running Android version 12. We can expect the Google 6 to launch for around $700, while there is going to be some hardware improvements the in-house chipset should hopefully allow them to keep costs down a little and Google's strategy is not pricing too high. 
Next up, we've got the Google Pixel 6 Pro. While an XL model was missing from last year's lineup, it appears the XL is making a return this year, but it's now being called the Pro. The Pixel 6 Pro is coming with a 6.71 inch AMOLED display. It's going to be a curved Quad HD Plus display with a 120Hz refresh rate. We get a punch hole selfie camera, which is smaller than the predecessors, and this houses a 12 megapixel camera. On the rear, we get a triple camera setup consisting of a 50 megapixel wide angle, a 48 megapixel telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. It will, of course, be powered up by the Google Silicon 101 system on chip. It's coming with 12 gigabytes of RAM and a choice of 128, 256, or 512 internal storage. It's going to use a 5000 milliamp hour battery, and we expect a slight bump in fast charge technology, so maybe 25 watts. And again, it will support wireless charging. It's likely going to support Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6, 5G and come with an ultra wideband chip and it will of course be running the latest Android version 12. We expect the Google 6 Pro to launch for more than the standard version and I'm going to estimate that the Pixel 6 Pro is going to start from $850. So it's great that we finally got so much information for both the Google Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. It's just a shame for Google that as always the leaks have come pouring out way ahead of launch. So that's it for today's news but as always I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. So who out there is excited for the Pixel 6 and are you waiting for the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro? But thanks for watching the video if you liked it smash the thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and i'll see you guys in the next one